Pratik, this is the photograph of the San Francisco Bay Bridge, redesigned after the 1989 earthquake. People actually do that. They redesign systems to withstand the odds of something like an earthquake. Why am I interested in earthquakes? Well, it turns out that I've been working on one of the biggest and most important bridges mankind has ever built. It's called the World Wide Web, and it carries traffic for a, from a billion people, a billion devices, and maybe a billion businesses. 2016 has been one of the largest cybersecurity disaster years for the web. We've seen one of the largest denial of service attacks. We've seen the worst data breaches in history. My team and I have been working on a new foundation for computer systems. We do this by strengthening not just the architectural design of, of computer systems, but also thinking about the processes with which we produce code that runs these systems inspired by seismic engineering. So to give you an example, my work has uh, largely looked at the idea of sandboxing web software, which means you take a large application and you break it up into a small number of pieces isolated from each other so that if an attacker takes down any one of them, the whole system doesn't come down crashing. Now this is the founding uh, design for a number of large scale systems that you use today. Uh, in fact, one of them is Google Chrome add-ons which has over 100,000 applications on it, and a billion people use it. Similarly, we've been looking at defenses for strengthening the way we produce web code. And I've done a piece of work that strengthens it against scripting attacks, one of the largest classes of web vulnerabilities. This is not going to be enough, because we continuously build on a pyramid of software complexity. So to give you an example, an email application, which is 50 million lines of code, runs on an operating system which, runs on a, which has a browser in it, and all of this is about 20 million lines of code. A new way to design the system is to run these applications isolated from all the other software in the system. And we've shown how to do this for Linux applications on existing commodity CPUs. Now, we can take these systems and run them into a highly distributed infrastructure called as a blockchain. And we've developed one of the fastest and the earliest protocols that can scale blockchains linearly in their transaction rates as the network increases. To take these ideas from labs into production systems, we founded a company called Anchuan. This is initially targeting financial services and is already seeing traction in the market. So can we build these sort of computers in the next decade? I believe so, but I don't know exactly when. But as an assistant professor at NUS and as a co-founder at Anchuan, this is the machine we're chasing. Thank you.